Hi, I'm Sunita Rodriguez. I love my kids, my husband, my job, and I love to cook. My mantra is to cook it simple, to cook it good, and to cook it with soul. I've trained as a chef at the Taj Group of Hotels and traveled to food festivals all over the globe. My tactics and tricks hold the secret to cooking up happy times. Join me on Meals on the Run with Sunita. Hi, I'm Sunita, and it's time to apron up for Meals on the Run. Sundays are meant for rest and relaxation, so you don't want to spend your Sunday slaving over a hot stove. I'm going to show you a nice, quick fix and stress-free menu for a lazy Sunday lunch so that you can spend all your time reading a book or playing around with your family rather than in the kitchen all day long. I'm going to show you some really stress-free recipes and then all you need to do is just shake it up like this for some exotic and simple food. Well, it's good to multitask, so you've got two pots on the fire at one time. Sunday is not really a day to count calories. Some fresh strawberries. This is the perfect dessert. Those wonderful colors and all these layers. A super meal. Today I'm going to make, for starters, a tuna and potato salad, followed by a lovely, delectable and totally filling lamb lasagna. And of course, to top it up, a kiwi and strawberry parfait. So stay with me as we move on to our tuna and potato salad. I have here a nice pot of water which is already boiling and I'm gonna throw in these baby potatoes, put in a little bit of salt. I've peeled them in advance because I don't want to do that a little bit later. So while my potatoes are boiling, let me get down to my other vegetables. I have a nice green bell pepper here. In that goes spring onion into nice little rounders and you can cut the white and the green. This is a simple salad to make and I recommend that you always have tuna in your house. It comes in really handy for that relative who just popped over at the last minute or for a lazy Sunday lunch. My potatoes are almost done there. That's the reason I use baby potatoes, I kept them small. And I'm gonna throw in these beans. I have some nice iceberg lettuce here that I'm just gonna break into this. And you can see how easy this entire procedure is. This is an amazing dish you could make and take to work. It's light, you're not gonna feel sleepy afterwards. I have some nice cherry tomatoes that I'm gonna just cut up and throw inside there. And you can see the lovely red tomatoes in contrast to the rest of the green vegetables. I think this is just about done. As you can see, the color has changed. And let's just strain this out. I'm just gonna let it cool for a while. So I've put this in. And now to add, first let me just get these out because I just wanna cut them a little bit. And in go the potatoes. And just cut these into half. And in they go too. So, a lot of lovely colors here, a lot of lovely shapes. You have round, you've got long, you've got the lettuce, flat, the onion. Mix that up together. Before I add in the egg and the tuna, I'm gonna just get down to making my dressing. So here I have some olive oil. And of course, lovely juicy lime. This is one of my personal favorite dressings. A little bit of garlic there. Smash it up and chop it really finely. And sometimes it is a day off, but when you're a mom and you have a family at home, then there just seems to be no day off. So I try to make my Sunday as simple and as painless as possible. Some basil, and just a little bit of mustard, about one fourth of a teaspoon, a bit of sugar. I like the way the sugar actually adds a lot of flavor to the dressing and a little bit of salt. And of course, the dressing would be incomplete without some 
freshly ground pepper. So I'm going to mix that all up. And let me see if this goes into this bottle. Lovely. And then all you need to do is just shake it up like this and pour it out. I'm just going to put in a little bit of dressing first. Look at that lovely dressing coating the vegetables. Toss it around just a little bit. Good colors there. Boiled eggs. I like to boil the eggs and cool them down, preferably in the fridge because it makes them easier to cut. And I'm going to put this a little later. And of course, some nice tuna. Now I'm using tuna that has been stored in brine because I don't want to add the extra oil. I already have it in the dressing. But I like the chunks, so I'm not going to break this up. It's going to go completely in my mouth. I'll keep a little to put on top. Just stir it up ever so nicely there. This is not just my favorite, it's a family favorite. I have myself a nice plate here, and this goes into the plate. Lovely color there. And my pieces of egg, just a little more tuna on the top. With just a little effort, you can create such an amazing, colorful dish. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of the dressing over the egg. And with that, I am done. So here it is, a really simple, really easy, stress-free recipe, tuna and potato salad. Mmm. You know, it's so light, it's so refreshing, that I think I could just sit and finish this entire bowl. I think I'm going to do just that. Today I'm going to make my very special lamb lasagna. It's simple to make and it's a great meal for the entire family to dig into. Perfect for a Sunday afternoon. I'm going to make it with a difference. I want to add a whole lot of vegetables to it. I have here about a quarter of a kilo of lamb mince and I'm just going to quickly add some salt. Just a little bit of crushed pepper. Mix this up and leave it for a while. Now, to start off, I need some vegetables. I need a nice purple aubergine. You can add whatever vegetable you like. I love to include all sorts of vegetables into my meat dishes. So some aubergine, I'm just gonna keep that here. If you can cut everything and keep it in advance, it's gonna make your job so much simpler. A bell pepper, I'm gonna keep this a little big. It's a little bit of a mixture of a lasagna and a moussaka. Some nice mushrooms. I'll keep this little big because they're gonna just cut them really rough. Now just a little bit of garlic. Put your weight onto it. Crush it. I have a pan here. Just a little bit of olive oil. Don't compromise on olive oil, especially if you're making lasagna. Garlic. I have a little bit of chopped onion. And I'm just gonna soften it up a little bit. You don't want them to get all brown. I'm not gonna add all the rest of the vegetables right away because they cook really fast, so we'll add them in steps. Well, as it's become a little bit soft, in go the aubergines. Let that soften for just a little while. There's plenty of time for that to cook later. So I'm just gonna pop in my mince. I'm using lamb mince here, but you could just as easily do this with chicken mince. For me, Sunday is always an occasion. It's a time when I can relax at home with my family and I don't have to think of work. Let that get nice and brown. 
and the flavors of the meat are already coming out of the pan. And while this is cooking, I'm gonna get on with my tomato concast, which basically means tomato puree. So I'm just gonna chop this up. I can hear my meat getting nice and brown, so I'm gonna give it a quick stir before I put this in. It's a really simple way of pureeing your tomatoes. And whisk it away. Perfect. You don't need that to be totally fine. Just gonna keep this here at the side. As you can see, the meat is spitting away. It's become nice and brown. Just put in a little bit of refined flour. The flour coats the meat, cooks, and when your lasagna is ready, it thickens the sauce. I'm just gonna deglaze it with a little bit of red wine. If you're one of the people who is afraid to use red wine or any kind of alcohol in your food, don't worry, because the alcohol evaporates and basically what you get is just the flavor of that wonderful full-bodied wine. And in goes my tomato mixture and with the richness of that full-bodied wine and these lovely tomatoes, this mince is gonna cook. I've got the mushrooms that I'm gonna add here. I'm saving the bell peppers to add later because they're gonna lose color if you add them right now and get overcooked. Just add a little bit of stock, but because I'm doing this in a hurry, I don't have stock available. I'm gonna put in some water and a stock cube. Give that a quick stir. You can see the rich red color sauce there. I'm gonna leave that for a while, cover it so that the lamb mince cooks nice and easy. And then of course, all the moisture is gonna evaporate. One more ingredient that I'm gonna add, spinach. Chop it off. So I'm gonna set that aside because it's gonna go into the mince a little bit later. I'm gonna get a pot of water for my lasagna sheets. You can make lasagna sheets at home if you have the time and you really can make it a family affair with the entire family. So I'm gonna put a pot of water to boil, throw in generously some salt and keep it covered. Well, my water is boiling. I'm just gonna put in the lasagna sheets, a little bit of oil in the water, because I don't want the sheets to stick to each other. And here you can see the sauce thickening up. Now I think it's about time to add all the green vegetables in. So in go my spinach and bell peppers. And it's formed a nice thick sauce. And I love the green spinach inside. I'm gonna just quickly taste the seasoning. Needs a little bit more salt. And of course, a dash of pepper. And now to this, I'm gonna add something that of course a lasagna would be incomplete without. Some nice, fresh leaves of basil. My pasta sheets are getting done here. Just make sure that they don't stick to each other. Try not to boil too many at a time. Three is probably more than enough. Something about pasta. I mean, I think the Italians have just got it right. Well, it's good to multitask. So you've got two pots on the fire at one time. My lasagna sauce is done. I'm just gonna quickly, now you gotta be a little careful when you're doing this because the sheets could tear. Don't be alarmed if they do. I'm just gonna put my sheets out here, spread them out just a little bit. And now, of course, the best and simplest part, assembling the lasagna together. 
You can use any oven proof container. I'm not going to use any white sauce here, so we'll start off with a layer. Just spread that around. And now, of course, you put on these lasagna sheets. There. And this time you can dump it all in. And to top it, two more lasagna sheets. I have myself some nice grated parmesan. I mean, the flavor that parmesan gives, no other cheese can give that, especially to a lasagna. I'm gonna add mozzarella here. Cut this into cubes. So here I have my mozzarella. Just spread it out ever so nicely. Just make sure that they go all the way to the side so that everybody gets a piece. Put in a few toasted pine nuts and snip a little basil all over this. But you know, Sunday is not really a day to count calories. I'm gonna just put this in my oven to bake for a very short while. And we're gonna be back to taste this later. You take a break, but come back. Because coming up after the break is my strawberry and kiwi parfait. I think my lasagna is ready. I can smell the melting cheese. So I'm just gonna get this out of the oven. It's nice and bubbling hot, my lamb lasagna. I can't wait to taste this. The meat is nice and tomato-y. It's got a lovely flavor of the basil and the spinach and the vegetables together the crunchy pine nuts in between. A super meal. I'm gonna put it in the oven so that it remains warm. Then I'm gonna get on with my next dish. A little bit of happiness that I'm gonna create in this glass that I like to call my strawberry and kiwi parfait. I have here some fresh strawberries that I'm just gonna quickly chop up. This is an extremely light dish. So after heavy lasagna, this is the perfect dessert. I have here a nice kiwi that I'm gonna quickly peel the contrast of the green kiwi with the red strawberry is truly amazing. I'm just gonna chop this up, similar small pieces. So in that goes the kiwi, strawberry. I'm just gonna put a teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon brandy, and mix that nicely so that it soaks up into the fruit. Now for the creamy layer, a super sensual mascarpone and cream mix. I have here some nice soft mascarpone cheese. You can use any cream cheese if you don't have this. Mascarpone is already a very soft cheese. I'm gonna put in just a small, a few drops of vanilla essence and about a cup of cream. So in that goes, you need to put double cream so that it whips up to a nice, fluffy mixture. I'm gonna put in about two teaspoons of powdered sugar. 
that's pretty much all you need to do. And now to put together this wonderful dessert. I'm gonna put some fruit at the bottom, try and get the liquid out as far as possible, but if a little comes in, then the brandy is just gonna flavor it even more. Put in a dollop of cream, some more fruit, and just look at all those colors, red, green. One more dollop there on top, and to finish it, lovely chopped fruits. Well, my totally delectable strawberry and kiwi parfait is ready. All it requires now is to be kept in the fridge for just a little while for chilling, and then it's done. I think my little glass of happiness is done. Just look at those wonderful colors and all these layers. You know, I love the simplicity of this dessert. Just fruit and a creamy mixture, and it's done. But of course, I just can't wait to dig into this. Mm. The mascarpone is light and creamy, and the fresh fruits. I mean, after that heavy lasagna, this is the ideal dessert for a lazy Sunday evening. So today we put together this really nice, relaxed Sunday meal. The tuna and potato salad. Followed by that big family meal by itself, the lamb lasagna. And of course, that little glass of happiness, the strawberry and kiwi parfait. I'm sure after such a lunch, you're gonna wanna skip dinner. Until next time, happy cooking.